Hi, I'm Isabel Double Air. And I'm Bubba. And this is Tomcat TV, where we bring news that matters to you. We hope you had an awesome week here at Haywood High. Please keep in mind the five months. Number one, wear your ID card at all times. Number two, follow the dress code. Number three, put your phones away during instructional time. Number four, make sure you have a hall pass. And number five, and use appropriate language at all times. Now let's go to Brandon with sports. Welcome back to this week of Haywood Football News and Updates. Lord have mercy, what a game last Friday we played. We played uh, Kirby and whooped them 67 nothing. Let's just say they're suffering from stage four cat scratch fever. Cat scratch fever. Here's some interviews about uh, this past game. I'm Brandon Smith and I'm with Cordero Walker. I got a few questions for you. Uh, what do you feel about our last game against Kirby? It was a good game. Uh, we got a lot of young guys in. We got to let them get some game experience, see how that feels. Mm -hmm. what, was, uh, what was the best? Who played the best? Uh, I got to get to Zion. Uh, he had two touchdowns. He had a fumble recovery, a forced fumble. He played real good last night. What other night? Mm -hmm. what, what do you think about this next game that we're playing this week? I feel like it'll be the most challenging game till we get to like the semifinal state. They got a good team. They well coached. They run their system real well. Should be a good one. Thank you for your time. I'm Brandon Smith and I'm with Zion Washington. What what was the best part about last game? The best part about last game. Um everything. Uh, we we worked as a team really we did everything right. Um yeah everything was great really it was a good game uh what who played the best everybody played the best we worked as a team to get the dub and everybody did their job mm -hmm. uh what do you think about our next game against uh south gibson uh south gibson it's gonna be a good game they're not gonna be hard to beat twice so we got to come with our a game we got to play hard fast I have a lot of tempo. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. I'm Brandon Smith, and I'm with Coach Chris Smith. I got a few questions for you. Uh, do you think that we'll win this next game against South Gibson? You know, we put in a lot of work. We should be able to get past this round. And, you know, of course, the guys have worked hard all year, and they're looking forward to it. They're very enthusiastic about the game of football right now. So we're really looking forward to getting out there on the field on Friday night, the whole town supporting us, and these guys coming out playing the best football they played all year, hopefully. Uh, what do you think about this next game that we're playing against South Gibson? You know, it's always uh, – it takes a lot more to beat a good team twice, especially in the playoffs. And obviously uh, South Gibson runs a pretty good program. Um, however, you know, we just got to take care of what we do, control what we do, and uh, do what we do best. Let's play the game of football, execute. You know, what you put on tape, all the feelings aside, standard over feelings is what we're going to do, and we're going to be different and do whatever it takes to win this football game Friday. Uh, who do you think our next opponent will be if we win this game? That's a really good question. Um, you know, Milan and Obana played earlier this year, and the score was 28-7. to 7. That was with Milan coming out on top. However, Obana turned the ball over four times in the red zone against Milan, so the score was actually closer, or the game was actually closer than the score originally indicated. So if Obana takes care of the football, do what they can do, and, you know, that running back ran for, 355 yards out of 55 carries the last game. If he can continue to protect the football and they don't turn it over in the red zone, it could be a lot closer game. And like I said, it's hard to beat a good team twice. So it could be a lot closer this time. could be very interesting. What do you think it will take for us to, if we make it to state, what do you think it will take for us to um, bring that gold ball home with us? Well, you got to be really tough. You know, in the state of Tennessee, you got to play 15 games to get to the end. And that's not even counting the scrimmages, the jamborees you play. So you're looking at 18, 19 game, games total throughout a season. You got to be really tough, take care of your body. Uh, you know, you have to really, I believe it's almost Ironman football. That's a lot of games for high school football players. You have to stay dialed in. You have the intent in which you do everything starts to matter. Uh, the intents you go into block, tackle. Uh, the approach you take to the weights every single day, the approach in which you take practice. And, and at the end of the day, I think that comes down to having a very strong character. Uh, you have to have that because there are going to be days you don't feel like you can go. You've got to push, so you've got to make it happen any, anyway. And that's what champions really do. Winners do what losers aren't willing to do. And when people, uh, everybody says they want to be a winner and be a champion until they find out what's involved in being a winner or a champion. That requires a lot of sacrifice. 
uh, that not everybody's willing to make. So these guys have to be willing to do a lot of things that others aren't willing to make. And at the end of the day, there's the only one that's willing to do it. So our guys got to be willing to do it and make the choice to do that and be different. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Here's some highlights uh, from this past game. Welcome to this week's uh, Haywood highlights. We got about, I haven't counted yet, so we just going to wing it. Uh, this first highlight is a uh, tackle for loss by the defense. I don't want to say it's a sack because I believe the quarterback was rushing during this play, but I don't know. And then this next play, uh, it is a... It is a, I'm blind, y'all, forgive me. Uh, it's an, another tackle. On this play, we're on offense, and it is a run play for a good uh, gain. I'd probably say 10, 15, 10, <laughs> 10 15 yards uh, on the carry. This play, it's a uh, another offensive play, I would say. To be honest, my favorite play of the game, <clears throat> it's where Darrow just passed it to Zion, I believe. Yeah, Zion. And he just ran to the crib. This play is a defensive play. And I believe we got a, a fumble for a touchdown in this play. Yeah, we got we uh, made him fumble for a touchdown in this play. Then on this play, we throw it back to Zion, and he just breaks one tackle. No, I think two maybe. I don't know. And just takes it all the way to the all the way to the crib for a second touchdown of the game. On this play, it's uh, another pass play. I don't know who because my phone won't go sideways, so I can't see it. I, I would say it's Jamari, but he goes in for a touchdown. Thanks for watching this week of Haywood Highlight. We're playing South Gibson again. South Gibson's regular record is six and four, but now they're seven and four for that one uh, playoff game they won. Our record this season is 11 and 0. We went undefeated this regular season. Let's hope we can go all the way to state. Thanks for watching this week of Haywood football news and updates. Joke of the day. What do you call a boomerang that won't come back? A stick. Precious Anderson interviewed Ms. Navy about our rated graduates. Hey, my name is Precious and today I'm here with uh, Kelsey Navy, assistant principal. Hey, Ms. Navy. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go in. So we had a lot of rated graduates today. I mean, this year. How you, um, how many was it? We had 88 this first round, and after the semester, we're gonna look and see if anybody else meets any more of the criteria, and we're gonna honor them at a basketball game. So we're expecting maybe 50 to 60 more, potentially. That's a lot. It is a lot, it's the most we've ever had. How you feel about that? I am so excited, just seeing the picture of all of our Ready graduates, the diversity. I mean, they were so diverse, from students wanting to go to college, to TCAT, to the workforce. It's really empowering to see the number of different students that are being honored as a ready grad. Do you feel like this can happen again? Absolutely. We already have the majority of our freshman class and our sophomore classes just because of the number of opportunities that our students have now that are going to be considered to be ready grads. So we'll have more and more each year. Thank you so much. Announcements. DECA. Please submit DECA dues by November 18th. Last year's members are $15. New members $25, which includes a t-shirt. Keep in mind, cats. Come prepared. Accountability. Take responsibility and stay respectful. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Tomcat TV. See you next week.